Welcome to the Modifying a Calendar video. In this presentation we will modify an existing calendar. Calendars are used by schedules to recognize special days or events such as holidays, meetings, or sporting events. You may have many calendars for different purposes or functions. To modify a calendar we first locate the existing calendar that we want to modify in the left hand navigation pane and drag the calendar into the right hand pane for viewing. Calendars use an icon that looks like a small page a day calendar. Let's bring over the holiday calendar. From the navigation panel, you see schedules and calendars as a file folder. I'm going to click on the plus mark, open that up, and we'll drop down and you'll notice we have a holiday calendar. Let's bring that over to the right hand panel. Notice that we now have a series of months in miniature on our right hand panel. The current month is always in the upper left and the current day is in red with a red circle around it. Holidays that have already been added to the calendar are darkened blue. To expand a particular month, left mouse click on the title bar of the desired month. I will choose the month of July. This opens July in a larger view so that we can actually see it well. Notice that July 4th is in blue and is therefore a holiday. An asterisk next to the date indicates that the holiday was inserted as a recurring date. That is, this holiday will occur again year after year on this date. It only had to be entered into the calendar once for it to appear in all years. We want to add a missing holiday to our calendar. We will add New Year's Day, so we will be adding January 1st to the calendar. In order to modify the holiday calendar, we must first enter the edit mode by clicking on the edit button. Now that we are in the edit mode, we will click on the entry detailed button. Notice the list of current calendar entries. These are existing dates already in our holiday calendar. We want to modify our calendar by adding January 1st as a new holiday. First we click on the new button and notice that we have three ways to add to our calendar date, date range, and week and day. We are adding a single date so we make sure the date button has been selected and it already has been selected for us. Now we can use the little drop down boxes to select the proper month, day, year, and day of the week. So we'll select the month as January, the day as the first, and then we'll leave year as any and we'll leave week as any. Now that we have added our holiday, we can click on the apply button and that entry now is in our list of holidays in our calendar. Now we can click on the OK button. Additional holiday entries are made in a similar manner using the three choices we are given, that is the date, date range, or week and day selections. When we are done, don't forget to click on the Save button to save our modification to the calendar. For more detail on calendars, go to the Help menu and Help Files. For additional training on Metasys, contact your local Johnson branch and ask for course number 388, Metasys System Extended Architecture for Building Operators. You can also visit our training website at www.johnsoncontrols.com institute to see the current catalog of the many high-quality building automation, facilities maintenance, and energy efficiency training courses offered by our certified instructors. Classes can be held at one of our national institutes or at your location.